Hey Forkers, do you want to make your own falafels? Well now you can. Come right back and I will show you how. Hey Forkers, you want to make your own falafels? Well here's the trick. If you have an air fryer, that's kind of better, but you can do this in a regular oven as well. Here we go. You're going to take a cup of dried chickpeas. You don't want the ones that are already cooked in a can. If you do, they're going to be mushy in a weird way. You can try it. I promise nothing. Ideally, you want dry. You're going to soak them overnight in water. You're not going to cook them in the morning. This is how you make the falafel extra crispy and awesome. You're going to put the chickpeas into a food processor with two tablespoons of red onion or yellow onion. Any onion will work. Two tablespoons of tahini. Half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of turmeric, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. If you don't have fresh parsley, some cilantro would do, even the seasoning would be fine. Just sprinkle in like a half a teaspoon or something. A pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper as well. You're going to want to preheat your air fryer at around 375 to get the heat up or your oven at around the same temperature. You're gonna puree this stuff into the food processor. It's gonna look weird and goopy. You might have to stop in the start a few times and scrape down the sides just to get it all into a uniform lump. It's gonna look weird and gucky and gooey. That's totally fine. That's what it's supposed to look like. I recommend getting your hands wet. It's gonna keep the batter from sticking to it as much as it could. Just take out a handful, form it into a ball. You should be able to make six or eight. If you want to make a lot more, that's okay. But just adjust the cooking time and they're not going to be as fluffy in the middle. Plop those things into your air fryer or if you're using your oven, put it on a silicon baking sheet. In an oven, you'll cook them for about 15 minutes. I recommend in the air fryer, put them on for 10 and then see where they're at. Just keep on checking them and when they get to the, the crispiness you like, pop them out. These things are just great on their own. If you want to put them into like a sandwich type thing, I like to put them on salads. However you want to eat them, they're fantastic. They keep well in the fridge and you can freeze them as well. I hope you like this recipe. If you do make this, please let us know. Take photos, post them, share them with us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like this video, comment where are you watching from. Thanks for watching. Check out more videos for recipes and other things on the former Fat Forker.